Something is very wrong here. I need to get into the factory and see if I can figure out what happened to Uncle Chuck. It's a Pillowtronics t-shirt with a tube on it. The only thing I got from Uncle Chuck. I feel like this was his final insult. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? <laughs> is that you again? Despair. It sounds like you, but I'm not sure. Ooh. I'm almost certain you're the same obscene color as before. Wait. It is you. That's right. Keep it your moaning. I'll get you. Keep talking. I've almost traced you. Mo. Why do you think you can waste my time like this? Moan, moan, moan. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimblewee County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. I'm innocent! If you didn't do it, a jury will find you not guilty. I heard you used to have a watch repair shop. Can you fix this watch? Why should I? Considering I'm only locked up because of you. If you fix the watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Well, let me see it. Well, that's a strange looking watch. Ah, but sure, I can fix it. But do you think I can fix it with my teeth? Come back when you have some proper tools. And turn off that awful noise. Play me some theremin music. I can't turn it off. The knob is missing and the radio's bolted to the cabinet. The sheriff left it on as a form of torture. I can't turn it off. The knob is... The sheriff left it on... I can't pull that. I can't believe I got over again. What did I do to deserve this treatment? All I wanted to do was entertain people and make them laugh at the stupidity of stupid people. I feel like there's a lesson in all of this, but you, I'm Ransom the Clown.
It's all that Franklin's fault. He was going to talk to Chuck about putting my new high-tech Ransom the Clown license dolls into production at the old pillow factory. Then he flaked out. He's probably in Mexico skinny dipping with my next wife. Okay, I need to break into that pillow factory and see if my prototype Ransom the Clown doll is still in there. My comeback depends on it. You! Oh, I love carrying stuff. Thanks. That's exactly what I wanted. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. I... Uh, 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 I have to go to my room. Shut up in there! You'll never be able to fill a CD-ROM with game data! Thanks. That's mm, delicious. Mm. I, uh, I. Shut up in there. Deckard is totally a replicant. Where did all the orange bits come from? I have not had a carrot in years. Sounds like someone's being sick in there. I don't want to see that. Oh, that's better. Now to get back to work. It's locked. Willie, here are the tools you wanted. Ah, oh, thanks. Nice tools. I'm innocent. 
Can you fix this watch? If you fix the watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Here's my watch for you to fix. I can't concentrate over that racket. Uh, you have to change the music to my favorite. I love theremin music. <laughs> I work best when it's playing. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Dude, can you score me some more of that clown blend? I don't think so, kid. I need to be responsible for the death of your last two working brain cells. You! Dude, can you score me some more? I know a chimp who could do this job better than you, face. He's more articulate, too. Dude, no way! Next time, send the chimp, cause me wanna see. How does it feel to know this is your peak? Dude, quit harshing my buzz. You sound like my mom. Nah, your mom sounds like this. Oh yeah, ransom, ransom, oh yeah, ransom! Wanna hear a joke? What do your mom and my clown car have in common? Dude, no. Me and 20 other clowns. Dude, stop. I think I left my hamster in the microwave. Gotta run. That's as far to the left as I can move it. I'll have to push it to move it to the right. Got it! Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Ransom, what are you doing here? What's your problem? You! We're trying to make sure all our guests feel comfortable, Abu. With that mouth, Abu, of yours, you'll frighten away our few guests. Leave now. What are you still doing here, Abu? I'm going, I'm going already. Good riddance, Abu. By the power of Grayskull, I greet thee. What the f is worth doing at this stupid con? We have a Ransom the Clown look-alike contest happening soon. Who can f enter the Ransom look-alike contest? Anyone who thinks they look like Ransom the Clown. So, probably not you? What are you saying? I f am Ransom the Clown! If you say so. So, uh, what are the f prizes for the Ransom Lookalike Contest? First prize is a licensing deal with Mega Mega Toy Company. Second prize is a gift card for facial reconstruction surgery. Third prize is an easy listening theremin record by Psykin. Uh, who f judges the Ransom Lookalike Contest? Me. 
It's one of the honors given to the door guard every year. But before you ask, I will not accept bribes. How late is this con open? We're open all night. Stop by any time. I am out of here. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I also have a rare and priceless hint guide to a forgotten text adventure called Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. I teased a guy to tears over D&D once. Okay. The big guy in the red spandex might be interested in the Star Trek scripts. Okay. Good. Bye. Look at my first edition comic book of me. It's got to be worth a fortune. Wow. A first edition Ransom the Clown comic? After his total meltdown, that's become a collector's item. You almost look like him. Except your costume is pretty crappy. I'll trade you the priceless Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide for it. What a f rip off. Starships in bottles, handmade. What's a grown man doing in a f space costume? You, sir, are in the wrong place to ask such a question. I will not listen to such comments, sir. Goodbye. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. I have nothing to say to a game nerd. He's Cory! And he's Cory! And not to be a rude ransom, but we're trying to get into character for the look-alike contest. Yeah, so? Get out of here! Huh? <laughs> Good one, Cory. For a moment, I thought you were Ransom the Clown. Amateurs. Wow! No need to start swearing. And get a better costume. It's like you're not even trying. Ooh, burn. Ready to face my adoring public and win this contest already. Thank you all for coming to witness the Ransom Lookalike Contest. We've got a great crowd here tonight. What is he, blind? <laughs> huh, stinks in here. Yes, well, it looks like we've got some great entries and some not so great entries. But I'll be the judge of that. That's right, I'll be judging the contestants as they try to make us laugh. First up, we have Cory. I'm Ransom, the jerk clown. It's Ransom, the insult clown, you moron. That's not a nice thing to say. I have big hair. He does! Oh my! That's funny! Am I missing something here? Ooh, that's some cape you've got on there, kid. I bet your mom made it with love. I hope there's a Batman lookalike contest for you soon. You definitely win. <laughs> so convincing. You've gotta be kidding. That wasn't an insult, it was a crappy compliment. You guys love that Pillow Factory. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. The Pillow Factory closed down 10 years ago. Get off stage! Thimbleweed Park is full of snobs. You're so fancy here that the bums give money to tourists so they can buy some better clothes. No one's giving any bums money. They live off scraps like the rest of us. You 
read the rag, the nickel news? I'd use it as toilet paper, but I'm not sure it could fit any more on its pages. Why don't you just go flush yourself down the toilet instead? Bunch of ingrates. Sounds like someone has to update their jokes. Now we have our final contestant, Cory. Bloop, bloop, and beep, bloop. It's beep for sake, not bloop. Don't be mean. What a lovely crowd we have tonight. I can't wait to meet all you wonderful special snowflakes! This is so unbelievable! You're all silly billies! But you're still lovable! Oh, kill me now! Mm, this won't take long to decide the winner. In first place is, obviously, Corey! Oh my! Thank you! Cory wins a licensing deal with Mega Mega Toy Company. I'm going to make a cute fuzzy dog! But you can just walk into any toy store and buy that already! Second place is Cory! Of course it well is! Totally rigged! How can anyone compete with Cory? It's a pleasure to come second to his first! You've won a gift card for facial reconstruction surgery. How exciting! Just like my hero, Michael Jackson. Which leaves third and last place to... What was your name, anyway? It's Ransom, you idiot! Oh, your name is Ransom, too? That's an odd coincidence. Pity your act wasn't very convincing. Ugh. Ugh. So third place goes to the poorly named Ransom. You win an easy listening theremin record by Psykin. Congratulations to those who put some effort in.